What's up, YouTube? I'm G Infinite. Today's episode is an amazing episode on the newest wave, the Multiman BAF wave. Uh, this is part of the Spider Man Far From Home movie as well. So, this wave is epic. It comes with Mysterio, Scorpion, and just a bunch of amazing characters. So, today's episode is on the wave of Multiman BAF. All right, guys. So, the first figure that I want to get into today is Spider Woman. Uh, this Spider Woman looks really, really cool. Uh, glad that they dropped her. This is by the uh, Molten Man BAF, and I'm gonna get directly into this figure. Uh, first, starting with the head sculpt. Love what they did with the head sculpt there. Um, they gave her like that orangey hair there, and then of course you see the Spider Woman mask, and then of course there she's wearing her makeup, and really really cool. Like what they did with that halfway uh, all white kind of glove that you see there, which is really, really cool. And then in the center of the chest piece, you see that white spider. And then midway, of course, it's black, but going all the way further down, it's all white, looking really cool. And uh, this Spider Woman, just really, really great job what they did with her. Um, she does come with an extra uh, interchangeable hand. And the interchangeable hand is like her uh, flinging the web. So it's really, really cool. And if you can see it there, it's just it's just a good look. I mean, definitely that's something I'm gonna uh, do. I'm gonna definitely change up the hand for that one because it just looks a little bit more cool, especially if you're putting her in a battle scene. And one thing also that was cool about this figure, it comes with the biggest part to the Molten Man BAF, which is the torso. Uh, there you see him, obviously he's not built, but that is the torso and it's pretty massive, right? I don't know if you guys can notice right there on camera, but it just looks really, really big uh, compared to most of the builder figures that I have seen. So that torso, uh, literally like half the size of the box. So it was pretty cool. Um, and of course that comes with the Spider Woman. So uh, this is Spider Woman from the Multiman build a figure wave and this is by Marvel Legends Hasbro. All right guys, so the next figure that I want to get into uh is the Doppelganger Spider-Man. Uh this is pretty epic. Um like what they did, of course they made him look very carnage like there, but just a really cool look to the head sculpt. Uh if you're looking there, you can see uh the sharp teeth is a really nice touch to this figure and then of course uh there you see like the huge eyes that they gave it on the spider-man mask that you're looking at there and it's just really really cool like what they did with the arms um the really the the truth is that the arms are really extremely flexible and of course you can move them and of course there you see like the six uh, spider arms there and it's just really really cool uh, of course this doppelganger of spider-man has the traditional spider-man uh, costume that red and blue that you're looking at there and then of course in the feet you see kind of like those claws which is really 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 cool um like what they did as far as the the position wise you can pretty much uh stand them and pose them however you want extremely flexible figure and i really like that about the doppelganger spider-man and then of course looking into this uh he does come with the right arm to the molten man builder figure so that's the right arm that you're looking at there which is pretty cool there for molten man um and then uh, another cool feature about this figure is that most of the time you can actually you know just move the arms and position them however you want that's a look at the back that we're looking at there with the spider uh, logo on the back really really cool and just a good look to the doppelganger spider-man so this is the doppelganger spider-man uh from the molten build a figure wave and this is done by marvel legends hasbro all right, guys, so the next figure I want to get into is Mysterio from Far From Home. Uh, this is the Mysterio that you're going to see probably in the Spider-Man movie, um, and it's just pretty cool. Love what they did with the new costume. Uh, getting into the head sculpt, there you see kind of like that purplish glow 
on the actual headpiece. Um, of course, it, it's not detachable and there's not going to be like an, a head sculpt under it. It's just an actual globe. Um, and it just looks really, really cool. Like what they did um, with this Master of Illusions there. There you see on the inside, you can't see through it uh, because of the smoke. And it's just really cool. Uh, love what they did there with the gold pattern and the gold trimming that they gave on the cape if you're looking there really really cool the cape mainly a purple color and just love the fresh patterns they gave it of gold and green um and just really cool uh freshening up this figure with some metallic colors and a good look to mysterio so there you have the movie mysterio from spider-man far from home and uh just really cool like what they did with the gold boots and of course they gave it almost like that blocky pattern on the outfit there as you can see just a lot of those square patterns and just really really nice um of course they gave it the old school look there on the little gauntlets that he has which is pretty cool and those are gold color and then of course the green that you're looking at on the hands um, and almost a purplish color there uh, as a belt with uh, gold as well and that's pretty cool then uh, one thing that I really liked about this figure is the cape um, go ahead and turn it around real quick uh, the cape exceptional love what they did uh they even gave it a little bit of that metallic green on the purple that you're looking at there and it's just a fresh look to the uh movie mysterio from spider-man far from home uh this mysterio does come with two interchangeable hands and there you see the interchangeable hands um and those are like closed hands instead of open and then of course he does come with the Molten Man leg piece there that you're looking at. So that's really, really cool. And that's a nice look to the um, Molten Man, of course. Uh, just different colors of that uh, lava kind of with that gold mixture. So it's just pretty cool. And then, like I said, this is the new Mysterio. And this is done by Marvel Legends Hasbro from the Molten Man BAF wave. All right, guys. So the next Spider-Man I want to get into, really, really cool. Digging the outfit. Um, and this is the Spider-Man that kind of reminds me of that Noir kind of look. Um, it looks more like a stealth kind of suit there. Um, this Spider-Man you're going to see at uh, the movie Far From Home. Most likely really, really cool suit. Uh, but it does remind me a lot, a lot of similarities to the Noir um, Spider-Man who uh, obviously was uh, the old school Spider-Man, 1930s and so forth. Um, but it's also Peter Parker, just a different take on it. And then um, really, really cool. Like what they did with this suit. Um, getting into the head sculpt right there, um, you're going to see that it has like the official head there, all black. And then in the, in the middle, you can see kind of like that shiny pattern there on the very top almost like some lining and then like the cool goggles that you're looking at there with the silver eyes um just a slim really slim look to kind of like almost an all black stealth suit that you're looking at uh just looks really cool and this is um definitely something that uh is a different take on spider-man so love what they did with the all black and as you can see there they gave him the belt and just a really cool look on the gloves there. They're half cut gloves and you can see um, the actual fingers there. And it's just really, really a nice look. Um, this figure came with uh, a lot of interchangeable pieces, believe it or not. It did come with an extra head sculpt. And looking into that head sculpt there, uh, the goggles are actually up. And you can actually see the eyes there to Peter Parker. And then here... They gave him the web shooter hands, the interchangeable hands, uh, so he can shoot the webs. Really cool. And then one thing that I noticed about this figure, he does come with the Molten Man uh, arm. And this arm is massive. There you have the left arm to Molten Man. 
and it just looks really really cool this is probably another large piece to molten man and that's the arm that you're looking at there and kind of like that molten kind of look to it on the coming out of the arm there which is pretty cool and that's detachable by the way um just really 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 a good look um so this build of, of this build a figure molten man is going to be pretty massive and one thing that i like is definitely the outfit to this spider-man just a really cool look and this is from the molten man build a figure wave done by marvel legends hasbro all right guys so the next figure that we're going to get into is hydro man hydro man being really really cool and a very highly anticipated figure um so Marvel Legends decided to break out Hydro Man, and it's just really, really cool. For those of you that don't know, Hydro Man has a lot of similarities to kind of like Sandman. Uh, you know, there was an experiment going on inside the waters. Uh, Spider-Man kind of pushed him in there, and uh, those generators uh, gave him his powers. Um, so he was able to kind of transform his body molecule structure into water, which is really, really cool. And uh, this is Hydro Man. Uh, just looks really cool the arms there you have like that water kind of like wave Going around there on the arms, which are really really nice uh, like what they did Very water like and transparent very cool and then here you have the other arm with the closed fist Which is just a really good look hydro man. Of course, they made him very serious there you see he is extremely serious. And that is just a really, really cool uh, look to Hydro Man. They gave him, of course, the black shirt. Kind of like those jeans that you're looking at there. With some brown boots. And one thing that I noticed is the actual uh, water that you see on the feet. Those are detachable. There you have... Uh, the one of them with the actual detachable water there that goes on the feet and it's just really really cool like how they did this hydro man uh and how they made the appearance so you could have pretty much both arms and feet there just uh you know generating water and coming out so that's really really cool and then of course uh what they did here is that they gave him uh, the build a figure piece to the molten man head sculpt. So that's the head sculpt for molten man and just looks really cool And then of course, like I said, uh, the arms are not detachable But the 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 feet are uh, Obviously the that water image that you see there for the feet do come off So you could either have them on or off however you like but this is hydro man uh, from the Mult uh, Molten Man BAF Wave uh, by Marvel Legends Hasbro. Alright guys, so the next figure that we're going to be getting into is Scorpion Man. Uh, this is Marvel Scorpion uh, and he just looks really, really cool. Um, love what they did with this Scorpion. Um, the only thing, man, wish that the actual uh, Scorpion tail that you see there... Uh, can actually come off the back part, but um, it's pretty attached to the back uh, And I'll show you that in a couple of minutes, but I want to get into the head sculpt uh, The head sculpt really really cool. They made scorpion look pretty vicious there uh, One thing that I like is that they gave him those cool eyes that you're seeing there And the mask looks just really really more like a realistic take on scorpion there you see is very serious just looking extremely vicious and it's just cool what they did with this uh scorpion of course they kept the suit very traditional like uh still almost like metallic green that you see there and then of course the gloves are like a dark hunter green which is cool and same thing um if you see the boots right there you have that darker green look as well. Love what they did with the tail. Uh, the tail, they gave it that metallic color all the way up until the end. And then they gave it another dark green color. So there you see the actual tail with the actual hook there. 
um, and it just looks really, really cool. Um, love how they did him. Just wish they could have uh, made it detachable, that back portion there. But like I said, just a really cool look to this scorpion. And he comes with the molten man uh, right leg that you're looking at there. That's the right leg to the molten man builder figure. And this scorpion that we're looking at is by Marvel Legends Hasbro from the Molten Man BAF wave. So there's just a better look at that scorpion. And this is Scorpion. All right, guys. So the last Spider-Man that I want to get into is the Spider-Man Far From Home. This is the movie Spider-Man that we're looking at. And uh, just really, really cool look to this Spider-Man outfit. Um, want to go into the head sculpt a little bit. There you see Spider-Man in the traditional kind of head sculpt that we're looking at there. And then, of course, looking at the chest piece, you see that the black spider there and just a little bit hard to distinguish uh, the color pattern here on the red. Uh, it's rather simple, but this is like a navy blue, almost black outfit that we're looking at here. Um, and it's just pretty, pretty cool the way they did it. But one thing that I noticed about this Spider-Man that is very different from many Spider-Mans is here you actually see on the hands, the web shooter. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can get a good look there, but that's the web shooter that we're looking at. Uh, and it's just pretty neat. Of course, looking at the other hand, you get a better glimpse of it. Uh, and that's the web shooter that we're looking at right there. So really, really nice touch to this Spider-Man. Glad that they gave him those web shooters. And, um, one really, really cool image about the Spider-Man is uh, the back. Uh, if we're looking at the back, you'll be able to see that he has the spider in white there on the center of the back. And just a really slim cut up Spider-Man uh, and just nice touch there. There you see the red boots and really, really cool Spider-Man from the movie uh, Far From Home. So this Spider-Man uh, is also from the Molten Man Build-A-Figure Wave. Uh, however, this Spider-Man did not come with any Build-A-Figure, uh, Molten Man Build-A-Figure parts. So he did come, however, with the two interchangeable hands. Uh, of course, he has uh, one closed and one open already on. So you could either do it with two, ha two web shooter hands or just two closed hands. But these are the two interchangeable hands that came with the Spider-Man Far From Home uh, figure. And this is by Marvel Legends Hasbro. All right, guys. So here you have the Build-A-Figure Molten Man. Uh, and just looks really, really cool. Like what they did with the head sculpt there, uh, making him look like that molten lava there with that gold. And then there you see in the center of the eyes, a little bit of that yellow. And uh, of course, just a bunch of that fiery kind of look inside that mouthpiece and in the eyes. And then you see a lot of those patterns on the chest scope, that gold and that lava kind of like just right there oozing out, which is a really, really nice touch to this molten man. Love what they did with the portions. I mean, they did give him like that smaller arm there, kind of like that lava there just going in through the arm. Kind of looks like a small slide, what you're looking at there. And those are detachable. Um, well, at least this one is detachable. And just really, really good look. And then here, you see another different portion of the arm, which is a lot bigger. And a lot of that fiery, kind of like goldish into the gold there, just seeking out. And it's just a really, really cool look. Um, same thing with the legs. One very slim. And then the other one extremely blocky. 
Um, and what you're looking at there is obviously that thick leg that you're looking at. Pretty cool. Like what they did with the lava there coming down the middle of the foot. And this is molten, man. Uh, really, really cool. Love the patterns they gave it. Uh, you know, just that gold and that flamey uh, orange kind of color that you're looking at inside the mouth, eyes, and throughout the actual physical uh, sculpt. So it's just really, really a nice look. This is the uh, Molten Man Builder figure from the movie Far From Home. And this is done by Marvel Legends Hasbro. And just a better look there at the back, which is a really, really cool look. And like I said, just a bunch of different proportions and uh, a lot of swirls going on uh, for Molten Man, but it just it just fits. So love what they did with this build a figure. Really, really a larger build a figure than what I expected for Molten Man, um, and it just it's definitely gonna go down as a, a really cool build a figure to have as far as a villain. So this is the Molten Man. Uh, Spider-Man Far From Home build a figure wave and these are the uh, many different characters uh, some that you'll probably see in the movie and others of course that you have read about in the comics so with that being said I'm G Infinite please subscribe hit that bell for the next notification and definitely hit us with a like peace out YouTube